Oh, tonight we're very thrilled um, to be here to celebrate this momentous occasion, nine decades. Um, it's, it's quite extraordinary that the Apollo has had such you know, a tremendous impact on culture um, and just on a national and global scale. And the opportunity to honor Usher and Babyface, two musical titans, um, is an extraordinary privilege. We're thrilled that they're going to be present here in this venue. Um, so we're excited. Apollo Comedy Hour. So we're excited to be here. Well, I mean, these are two music icons where this type of celebration is well deserved. You know, I mean, the performances that Usher has given us, the album, the music, you know, um, amazing. You know, he has been an amazing, an amazing talent, you know, in the studio and on stage. And Babyface is one of the greatest songwriters ever. You know, I mean, he's helped, you know, so many other artists' careers nourish. So, I mean, they both deserve this. It's stood by black entertainers from the get-go. And so when you're having entertainers such as James Brown and The Temptations, to Stevie Wonder, to, to Aretha Franklin, to Dionne Warwick, to, I can just keep going on with all these names. Names that I can tell you that my growing up, I never thought I would be included with those names. So it's an honor to actually be here and be included in that list. Uh, there's a lot of young artists that are out today, and, I'm, and I am writing for a few. So, um, and there's some there's some cool new artists that are performing tonight um, that I'm looking forward to seeing as well. So, I, I like to um, I like music, and I like people that can sing well. So, I'm always open for working for anybody. I think that um, they are accepted today. They're just said differently. Um, people say things in, in different ways. Love means something. Uh, you, you talk about love in a different kind of way. You talk about sex in a different kind of way. But it's still all about love and it's still all about sex. It's all the same. Thing. I mean, this is a prestigious award, and while I've been recognized by a lot of people, judging from the people who have been honored by the Apollo, you have to be special, and you have had to, you know, have done something really incredible in this lifetime to be recognized, celebrated. Man, make it an everyday thing. You know, every day I wake up feeling like, Yo, this is this is supposed to be. I think you know when you act as though you're already in the future. Eventually, you will be. <laughs> so you call it into existence. You know, you say you're gonna be successful. You say you want to be successful and claim it. Say it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I might look like 18, but I feel more like 50. <laughs> well, you're drinking the fountain of youth because you look great. Can I just get a happy 90th Apollo? Happy 90th Apollo. I'm so happy to be here. So great. My first yell. I think that we have to be accountable because because of the struggle we have gone through, we ought to be when we get there making our excellence demonstrated in our character as well as our performances.
That I think that an artist will go through things in life as all people do, but what makes them great is how they rebound.